Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's perspective for 1010. We are headed towards the middle of the month of October already. Today is, or the whole week really is Mental Health Awareness Week, but today is Mental World Mental Health Day. And when something, hello, Terry, hello, Terry, when something down this, you know, it's, I don't think it's, it's very many things that impacts everyone worldwide. Hey, classmate. Hey, Cynthia. All people groups, the entire globe, and it does not matter your education level. You can have a GED or PhD, anything in between, no GED. Education matter does not matter. Your income does not matter. Your titles, your zip code, the vehicle you drive, none of that matters. Your family name, your pedigree that you come from, mental health illness can impact every one of us. And I would probably challenge anyone who ever told me they don't have anyone in their family and their friends and their circle and their associates that they work with that they um, that they even slightly know. I, I would challenge anyone who says they have no one in their circle that has not at various points dealt with mental health issues because it is pervasive. And I think the you know, it's it's an odd thing because the more technologically savvy we become, the lonelier we seem to get. I mean, we've got technological advances that are just mind boggling and more that we don't even know about being created and designed and invented every day. And yet there is a piece of the puzzle that will never go out of style. Hence the title to today's perspective, Lyndon Ear. Good old fashioned listening, good old fashioned relationships, just relationships. Um, too many, too many of the people that are around us or we know, even if we know them from afar because they are the rich and the famous or they write books or they're sports, um, professional sports players or in the entertainment field, you fill in the blank. Because again, I, it covers all walks of life. Too many people um, really believe, they believe it and they believe it. They believe they are out here on their own. They are alone and lonely. No one can understand what they're going through. They couldn't possibly have gone through what, no one else could have gone through what they ha are going through, what they're dealing with right now. They believe that and they believe that. And in large part, I think it's because there is a lack of real relationship with people. We are so busy, we're ripping and running everywhere and we doing it, we're trying to make it and we're trying to grow, we're trying to get that bag and we're trying to, you know, just be all that we can be that we turn around and look behind us and there are broken relationships all around us, all around us. Thank you for all who are joining me on both platforms. And so, especially in light that it is World Mental Health Day, I would just ask that we take the time to listen. There's a lot of silence. There's a lot of shame. There's a lot of embarrassment and guilt and fear around um, mental health issues, mental health illness, almost as if it were, I don't know, like, like we have to tuck those people away and not talk about it or, you know, don't bring that topic up that might send them over the edge. And 
All I know is that you don't need any special, you know, too, too many, too often we stop right there. Well, I don't have no degrees. I'm not so psychiatrist. They don't need to be talking to me. I don't know what to say to them. You know, we can resort to that or we can simply just go old school and listen. We can just listen. We can just have relationship um, in the midst of all that is going on, in the midst of our busyness, in the midst of our um, technological advances, in the midst of these major metropolises that we live in. So much is happening all around us so quickly that um, we can get lost in it. We can get, we can, um, get depressed in it and if and if we really believe and believe that we're out here on our own alone that no one understands that no one could possibly feel what we're feeling that's that will close you in it will segregate you it will put you into a very dark silo all alone and that is never a healthy place to be so in honor of World Health, uh, World Mental Health Day, and, and the whole week again is has been devoted to mental health awareness. I would just ask you to do a self check. Do a self check. Who in your realm, who in your sphere, has sort of gone on their own, and 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 you can see that they are um, perhaps feeling a little lonely perhaps um, allowing shame and guilt and embarrassment and fear, dread, anxiety, to come a little too close and get comfortable in their life. I mean, th th those negative emotions have come in and they're making a home now. They don't intend to go anywhere anytime soon. They are nice and comfortable. Well, when, when, when that much negativity and darkness comes into your life there's no room there it's like a home there's no room for light and and faith and hope there's there's no room for hope and so too many too many are left hopeless faithless without a vision without um any desire and so lend an ear lend an ear listen in for what is not being said Look for what people are not trying to show you. If you have relationship with them, do a survey of your relationships today. Today, do a survey of the relationship and um, make sure in your circle, as much as you have, as much as you can reach out, reach out, lend an ear, lend your heart, and just be there. Just be there. You don't need anything fancy. Just be there for someone today, okay? Nothing grand, nothing too hard, nothing too strenuous. Just be there for someone. That is my offering to you today. Um, please do not take its simplicity too lightly. It doesn't take much to make a difference. Until next time, take real good care of yourselves.